What's up everybody? I'm Tao. Welcome to the Melko Overlanding channel. We're out here today in Wahoo's beautiful North Shore hitting the trail of Ka'ena Point. Here's my rig. So this is a 2017 4Runner um, SR5 4x4. Didn't go with anything too crazy, just kind of kept it simple, but I'm more than happy with it. Um, yeah, so we'll do the full walk around on the outside of the truck today. So starting up in the front, um, we'll go with the start with the headlights. So we went with the Alpha Rex Pro Series headlights. Um, I really like them up to this date. I mean, I haven't had any problems with them. Um, you know, great output. Uh, I do have the uh, Xenon Depot HIDs in there. Uh, didn't do the high beams yet. Probably throw some maybe LEDs in there. I know I got a lot of problems with uh, heating up time and stuff for high beams. Kind of want that instant light. So uh, LEDs are kind of the way to go from what I've been reading and, you know, watching a lot of forums on. Other than that, I love the headlights. Uh, if you guys haven't tried them, you know, definitely a thumbs up for me. Uh, down to the fogs, didn't really do anything with the fogs. I just changed them out for yellow LED bulbs um, and then threw on the Laminex film. Uh, just the yellow, nothing crazy. Again, maybe change them out in the future. Um, we did change out the whole front grill. So we went with the TRD Pro style grill. Um, and then for the bottom, I didn't throw on a balance. I have one I can throw on, but I, um, in the beginning of when I bought the truck, I just vinyl wrapped the top and the bottom here. So I left the vinyl on the bottom and then did the TRD grill swap out. Uh, we did add the bug deflector. It doesn't really do anything. It says bug deflector, but it doesn't really help for anything. Just more for looks. Uh, it kind of accents a little bit more of the black on the truck. So that was my reason for going for it. Um, come around the side. Um, let's go down to the wheels real quick. So we went with the Relations Race wheels. I believe these were the RR2s. Uh, it's an eight and a half by 17 a wheel. Um, and we put a ko2 275 on it plans to upgrade it do something bigger at the time didn't know what i wanted i just knew i wanted something different from sock wanted to put a you know all-terrain tire on it so we went with those bfg ko2s amazing tires i love them um everything i've heard from other people around you know our guy tevin here that you know we're gonna be walking around his truck pretty soon he's got the ko2s he loves them as well so great all-around tire no complaints at all great on the street great off-road you know all around great tire um behind there we do for suspension real quick we got the bilstein 5100s again nothing crazy just really simple a lot of people are running the bilsteins um no complaints from me so far about the bilsteins they're great shocks you know i love them um we do have the old man emu coils up on the front so two inch coil uh, the Bilsteins, I believe I have them set on the second from the lowest notch. So the front right now is just sitting just under, um, I believe just under three inches, like just a hair under three inches. We do also have the uh, JBA um, upper control arms. Um, I really like them so far, you know, I know a lot of people go with, you know, all these higher end stuff, but I, I love these things. I like the red under there too, it's just my personal preference. But yeah, so that's what we got in the front. We go to the back real quick. Same thing, we're running the Bilstein 5100s. Um, I do have the Dobbinson coils on the back, which is a two inch lift um, coil. Um, I don't know if you can kind of see under there. Uh, got, the, got the red coils under there. Kind of hard to see from here. Um, but since we're back here, we'll talk about the tail lights real quick. So the tail lights, I went with the Alpha Rex Pro series tail lights in the black. Um, great tail lights. They look awesome. I know they came out with uh, the Lux series and everything, which got like the yellow 
uh, turn signals and everything like that. Well, those are amazing looking taillights as well. You know, off a rack so far on the front and back. I love everything about the headlights and the taillights. They look amazing, perform awesome. Um, what else on the back? Not really too much on the back, I guess. We can talk about the lights up at the top. We did throw on the Baja S2 Sport um, in the wide, um, wide pattern, in the amber. I got a lot of most things on the roof over here. <laughs> uh, print to full like uh, non drill rack. Uh, we do have the 43 inch uh, dual light bar at the top, Cali Rays light bar. Um, the awning is actually just a Napa brand awning. It's, I believe it's called Max Track. Um, kind of not Maxi Track like the, the traction boards, but Max Track from Napa really good budget friendly awning if anybody wants to try and pick it up or you know is wanting to try out the awning but not wanting to drop the three four hundred dollars for you know like the arbs or the roams or anything like that great awning i haven't personally tried the arbs or the roams but a lot of people that have tried it that i've spoken to said it's pretty similar to the same kind of quality the only thing about this awning is that you don't have options for uh, the mosquito nets or the privacy rooms or anything like that. So it's literally just the awning is your only option for that. But, you know, for what we do out here, out at the point, you know, it's more than enough. We just need some shade. It's windy enough out here, you know, get a lot of breeze. And it's it's awesome. You know, great investment for $100 from Napa if you guys want to pick that up. Uh, we do have the Plano box on top. I believe it's the 42 inch, if I'm not mistaken. Forget exactly what it is. Um, just keep a lot of you know storage stuff up there like most of you guys do i'm sure that are watching um, i keep uh my recovery straps up there the uh tow hitch and everything is up there all the adapter um i got extra links up there and everything so that's all just storage for me that's what i keep up there um the top we also do got the as you'd have to come around this side a little bit i do got the gray max tracks traction boards up there I haven't had to use it yet, um, thankfully I haven't been in a situation where I need to use it. Uh, but at the same time it would be kind of fun to test them out and try them out. So they'll they'll have their day, one day we'll be able to try them out and see what we can do with them. Um, coming down a little bit, we did throw the same Baja S2s up on the front for the dish lights um, in the amber, uh, wide angle pattern. Uh, great lights i love the baja so far so as of right now we just got the bajas in the front for the um for the ditch lights and then the two in the back for the chase lights but great lights um yeah i, I love them the I won't go inside today but uh if you guys did notice the antenna here so this is just a little ghost antenna this is for the midland um i believe it's the 275 mx 275 yeah okay i'm sorry it's one of the minlets um i do have the one where uh all your switches and everything are on the actual radio head itself not on the uh, not on your walkie but for me that was personal preference you know like i liked the look of having everything down where i have it mounted inside is right on my passenger side of the center console so it's really access to me you know everything's right there i'm able to see the screen really well i know a lot of people talk about wanting to have it you know your screen everything is on your walkie itself uh, but for me it doesn't really matter too much just because we usually set our radios and everything before we even go out you know we make sure we're on the right channel to do our radio checks and everything like that so we're not really fumbling with it too much while we're out there um, and then i have it mounted right my mic is actually mounted right on the center piece as well like right below the radio so everything's in really good range for me um, but awesome radios i keep that or that i have that on board and then i do have two portable midlands um on my rig as well so if we're ever out we're hitting trails you know if we're ever up at peacock flats if you guys are from here you know where they're at that's at um somebody can jump out you know we grab a portable and we help each other out whatever it is so i do got the onboard radio as well as two uh handheld portables on the rig um that's really all i got for the outside of the truck um just little things you know like we did uh just plasti dip the fenders kind of give it a little bit of a different look like i said we threw on the bug deflector just kind of give it a little bit more contrast with the black and white 
Got the WeatherTech rain guards on as well, which are awesome rain guards if anybody's looking for rain guards. Um, but yeah, that's really kind of it for the outside of my truck. Um, you know, there's a lot more to come, hopefully. Um, we plan on building up the trucks. We do got, you know, the way our trucks sit right now are great every day. Every guy kind of, you know, kind of build. Nothing crazy is going on with them, but everything works awesome, you know, especially for what we need here on Oahu. There's nothing too crazy. The trails aren't too crazy or anything like that. So we don't really have that need for all these you know, high-end kind of things, but it would be nice to have them. So maybe, you know, down the future or down the road in the future, you know, we'll be able to switch them out, do some more upgrades. But as the way the truck sits, I hope you guys like it. Hope you guys enjoy it because you'll be seeing a lot of it and, you know, you'll be able to be here with us as we do a little bit of upgrades and stuff. But yeah, that's the, that's the 17 4Runner for you guys. Alright everybody, so that's a wrap for today. Hope you enjoyed the video, hope you enjoyed the walk around of the truck, the 4Runner, kind of seeing what we got going on. Uh, yeah, it was a beautiful day out here, kind of point today. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, subscribe to the YouTube channel, uh, help us get this thing kick-started. Enjoy your day everybody.